So let me show you a little bit about what I've got going here in the fall garden. These containers, these are earth boxes. And I'll show you why some are thriving, some are absolutely thriving, and some not so much. I know why, and I'll tell you the reason. So first of all, this is romaine lettuce, six per earth box. It is just absolutely thriving. That is 14 to 16 inches tall. We've been harvesting some. We can't stay up with it. I'm not as much of a lettuce eater as obviously I should be. But we have been harvesting it and it does look beautiful. When I planted this, I fertilized with the Haas uh, 543 organic fertilizer. And um, just one stripe down the middle of about a pound, a pound and a half if I remember right. And it just, it just absolutely looking, looking marvelous. Um, this is uh, broccoli. Hadn't started to head out yet, but it, I don't think it's gonna be too long before it does. It's also uh, 18 inches tall, something like that, outside of that earth box. This is cabbage. Now, a little disappointed in my cabbage, and I don't know, I don't know what got this one. Uh, it was two actually. This one on front and that one on the front or toward the front here. Don't know exactly what happened. I think they just got bit by the cold. Now cabbage is somewhat cold tolerant, but I don't know, we got out in the in the close to the mid twenties when it was pretty small. And I just have a feeling that that's what got that one. But the rest of them look great and over here, I only planted five in this one because I had, uh, I just didn't have enough plants. Supposed to have one right there and I just didn't have a plant to put there. So these are doing well, starting to just kind of almost hardly start a head maybe. And this is uh, kind of cabbage this is here. Well, I don't know where my marker is. Anyway, it's cabbage. Got those from Lowe's as uh, seedlings. These are some greens. These are called Mazuna. Mazuna. And uh, come from Haas Tools. The seed comes from Haas. And these are um, let's see what those, Savannah mustards. That's Savannah mustard greens. Those look really, really good. Two weeks ago, I was wondering if they were going to make it. Right after I planted both these from seed, uh, we had a cold snap that was that was pretty cold. Um, mornings at or below 30, and that's just not a great time to uh, germinate seeds, even if they are greens. So, uh, you know, that's uh, that's probably why they got a real slow start. This is still kind of sparse. Uh, again, I didn't think it was going to make anything. I'm just, you know, looking at it now, just amazed at what it's done in the last week or so, because... Uh, couple of weeks ago it didn't look so good. So let me come over here and show you a few things that have not done well and then I'll tell you why um, why they haven't. These are my carrots. I've got four tubs of carrots. These are Envy. Envy carrots. First two tubs here are Envy carrots. Uh, I, I, I planted them very heavy, uh, very thick. A lot of people ask me why I was planting so thick I was going to have to thin. Well, you know, God kind of thinned them out for me, so <laughs> I didn't have to. What I should have done, and this is my fault, is I should have come in here with some plastic and laid some plastic on top of these for the first uh, week or, or two, just until they started germinating. And, um, and that, I think, would have greatly enhanced the germination. So, you know, not going to get a, just a ton of carrots out of this. But going to get some. These are um, Scarlet Nantes carrots. Scarlet Nantes. And they've done even less as far as germination. Although I'm getting some that even now are starting to pop up. And so we may, we've had some warmer weather. It could be that some of those seeds uh, have just been sitting there waiting on some warmer weather. And they're, they're getting it. The reason why the uh, lettuce and the uh, cabbage and the broccoli and all that did so much better and it looks so much better is I bought those plants from starts. I waited late to plant my fall garden. I'll, uh, I'll have to look back and see what date I planted on, but it was, 
uh, in November, if I remember right, and should have been in October. So these already had the head start. They were uh, seedlings that were up six or eight inches tall, and uh, they didn't get hurt by that cold spell that came through and just uh, stunted, if not, um, well, stunted and uh, prevented germination and whatever uh, of the ones that I planted for seed. Even those greens that I showed you that I planted from seed stunted those uh, for quite a while. So that's the difference is uh, I should have, if I was going to plant seed, if, if I'm going to plant seeds next year, I need to plant seeds in October and not in November. I need to plant seeds, you know, early enough, maybe even September, even though around here it's pretty warm in September. Uh, but plant seeds early enough to get the seeds up, growing, viable to where a frost and even a freeze doesn't hurt them. And uh, these, these plants have been through the same cold weather the other plants have been through. And unless the cold weather got those that died there on the front, and I don't, it, it, it's possible it did. But unless that happened, then uh, these, these have done well in the, um, even, even though it got eh, cold, what we call cold around here, 28, 27, that's, for us, that's cold. I know some of you are laughing right now up north saying that was shirt sleeve weather, but it ain't for us. That gummit is cold. But just wanted to show you, plant early. If you're planting from seed, whether it be carrots or greens or anything, even spinach and stuff like that from seed, go ahead and plant from seed early. That's the key. Uh, you know, September, October, you'll have to look for, for the planting dates in your zone, but don't, uh, don't plant just... <laughs> Don't plant right before a freeze like I did and expect everything to, to come up and to flourish. Mine, are, like I say, mine are doing better than I thought they were. I mean, I thought, I thought this was a goner just a week or so ago. They weren't doing anything. I mean, real sparse, and they have just come on like crazy. So, but plant, uh, plant seeds early. Plant them in a greenhouse if you want to. Start your own seeds, whatever you want to do, but plant them early enough to where before cold weather comes, you can get them in the ground as seedlings, as starts, and not seeds. Not expect your seeds to germinate in the cold, cold weather. Hope that helps you. Uh, yeah, I have learned a lesson, and uh, it's a lesson I kind of knew anyway, but sometimes, even if you know a lesson, you need to be reminded of it from time to time, right? Right. All right, so things are going good. I'll show you this uh, another week or two, just uh, show you the progression and see how everything's going. And hopefully the carrots will come on a little bit more. I've got a few that are popping up that weren't popped up a couple of days ago. So maybe with this warm weather we're having, maybe we will, uh, maybe we will start to get a few more. That's a little old dinky one, about an inch tall. So they're coming, just maybe not as, bountiful as I was hoping for. We'll see. All the other stuff is looking pretty doggone good. I think that's it. We're gone.